Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I just want to talk about a few things that I highly suggest you do before Tales of Tomorrow releases because it is going to help you out in the long term and when the game does drop. So, let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to go over is what you can expect on release. This is so, you know, you can have pretty good expectations and not be disappointed in what you are not getting and just make your experience overall happier. Anyway, we are going to be getting three stadiums on release, which are the equivalent of Pokemon Gyms, over 100 Tenorians that will be obtainable, Ruptures, which are like raid dens in Pokemon, a bunch of different hunting features, voice acting, a lot of story, and so much more, just to name a few. So, I hope that gets you excited, because there are so many things I have not mentioned here, and it would take me literally forever to go through all of them, so yeah. Now the next thing I would highly suggest you do is following all of the Tales of Tenorio socials, that being Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and joining the Discord. This is because you can obviously know when a new leak or something like that is dropped and obviously you know since release is getting near so you can exactly know when all the times of that are gonna be and you might also meet some people who are also you know loving Tales of Tenorio like you and make some new friends. The third thing that you should do is you should research the type chart. Now if you've obviously played Pokemon or any other Fakemon game Learning the Tales of Tenorio type chart is not going to be that difficult as it basically is that with a few tweaks and changes. But it is still important so you can have the best advantage when you go through the story as well as in PvP. Anyway, as I'm speaking through this, I should have the type chart up on screen. So if you want to pause it, have a good look at it, then feel free to. You know, because it is going to be pretty important to know and understand. As well as the fact recently the icons for each type got changed. So you might have to have a quick look to go through them to see, you know, which type they are. But I think it is pretty obvious for someone with a brain. The fourth thing I would like to suggest is going through each of the devlogs. Now, this will take a while. But if you are super, super excited and want to see more stuff, then I highly suggest you do. And if you don't have Discord, then there are quite a lot of videos on the majority of the devlogs on YouTube. So don't worry in that department. And one more thing that I probably should have specified at the start of the video, but I cannot be bothered, is that... If you don't want to do any of these things I suggested, if you want to go in completely blind, that is completely fine. But I still do suggest doing step number two because that is still going to allow you to keep up to date with stuff. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated and I will see you in another video. Goodbye!